your first swim in how long? I think it was uh, March 2015, so it's been a while. Is it weird to be back swimming in, in yards, especially after training overseas last year? Yeah, it's definitely a little bit weird. Um, I think it's a good transition, you know, getting back into it after this summer. Um, you know, it's fun coming back and doing you know, short course yards for sure. How's Auburn? It's been good. It's been great. Um, you know, getting back into the swing of things, it's been exciting. Uh, you know, I'm looking forward to this this next year there. Yeah. So how long did it take you to know that, that you, you wanted to, to give, give it all another go and, and stay with Sergio? Oh, uh, no, right away. You know, we have, you know, worked together for, I don't know, for over a year now. And it's, you know, just picking up. We're just yeah. still learning about each other and learning different things. And, you know, I think it's going to be great getting this next summer. You know, just another year under the belt. Yeah. Have you had time to kind of reflect on Rio and just go over your performances and what you think of it? Yeah, definitely. I think you know, it took about a month, month and a half off, you know, so I kind of some downtime, you know, reflect and, you know, think about everything that happened. You know, it was such, a, such an experience this summer. It's, um, you know, just kind of reflect on all that and then actually look at the swims and analyze what you did the year before and what happened. And I think, you know, going into next summer will be working on a lot of those things that happen. What, what specifically? I mean, I think one of the main things was, you know, going from trials to the Olympics, yeah. you know, so that's another thing that, you know, is something not many people might think about that's really important, but I think, you know, figuring out how to go from, you know, a trials meet to a, uh, yeah. another meet is one of the main focuses, I think. Uh, what do you think about that gold medal you have? <laughs> I mean, it's pretty surreal still. Um, it's, it's amazing. It's an honor. I can't believe, you know, you can say that actually. It still doesn't feel real. It yeah. still feels weird to say, but, you know, it's, it's been it's, it's amazing. So since the Olympics, have you had, have you gotten any offers, people saying, oh, hey, can you come do this, come do that? Yeah, I got some pretty cool opportunities. Um, I got to throw out the first pitch at a Cubs game, which was amazing. You know, cool to be a part of the year they win the World Series after how long? Over 100 years, so that was Before really we were cool. born, right? Yeah, exactly, went way before. Um, so that was really cool. Um, you know, just little things here and there, it's, it's definitely, um, you know, being an Olympian changed it a little bit. Yeah, so you're repping Mizuno. Yes, yes. Is that, do you have a yes. deal with him? Yeah, I've been with Mizuno last year and this year, so, okay. so that's who I've been with. Um, yeah, 2015, 2016. Okay. Can you tell yeah. us a little bit about that partnership? Yeah, you know, I mean, Mizuno's always been my favorite suit ever since, you know, going through high school. So, you know, it's been great. Um, you know, they've stuck by me through, you know, going to Singapore and then, you know, coming back here. So it's been great. Can we talk a little bit about Singapore? With, uh... Yeah, what about it? <laughs> so, what? You miss what? It? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I definitely miss it. It was a really great experience, um, you know, being overseas for a whole year. It's nice being back here, you know, have like the, you know, I can go to Chipotle whenever I want, but <laughs> over there, I still, sometimes people I know over there like send me Snapchats of food they're eating and stuff like that. So that, I, I miss that kind of stuff. And, you know, just being there for a whole year, you learn to, you know, it's kind of like a second home. Yeah. So definitely miss that, but it's great to be back in the States for sure. What was your living situation there? You know, I, I kind of bounced around before Worlds 2015. I was staying with Sergio for like a month or two, and then I was in a dorm for a couple months, just you know, at like a, a stadium kind of by the pool, and then I was at like an apartment for another couple months. So I just hopped around, you know, just focusing on swimming and yeah, just living every every different place in Singapore. <laughs> living the dream. Yep, exactly. Did you enjoy that? Just kind of. Yeah. Place, you know. yeah, you know, there wasn't really any pressure or anything, you know, I didn't have to focus on too much of the outside world, I could really just focus on what I wanted to accomplish and what I wanted to do, so, you know, it was a learning experience, growing experience, um, you know, and swimming in life, being away from family, friends, you know, figuring out the hours of the day I can talk to people, you know, just a lot of different things you yeah. might, the small things that kind of go into it, you know, and actually watching like NFL games. <laughs> So like my fantasy team, with well, all my friends. What time was NFL? So I mean I think I could like so after Monday morning practice I could watch Sunday night football. Seriously? Yeah. So after Monday I got to watch Monday morning and Tuesday morning because it was Monday night football. <laughs> so like I was like all pumped up after morning practice. <laughs> but other than that I would wake up Monday morning at like you no know, four fifty and like check my uh, uh, fantasy football. So that was yeah. So that's kind of funny. Cool. Yeah. That's awesome. So, so, so. And so what and what changes do you notice now training with the college team? 
Um, well, you know, I got to shoot a lot more short course now, so, you know, which I personally like for brush stroke a little bit more, but this past year was great learning how to swim long course, you know, brush stroke, you know, um, how to train it more, how to, I mean, have a strategy in the race, so that was, like, really helpful as now I can, you know, build upon that, but going back to short course as well, you know, it's, you get the best of both worlds at the same time, so, you know, it's been great. Thanks, Kevin. Yep, thanks, guys. Good luck tonight.